every Discord member has their own set of desires. Some are really social and others just log in once a day and use it to get strictly information on announcements and rallies. That is why it's so important to provide all they need, but don't force things on them. Players can decide for themselves what's important and can mute channels when they become obnoxious or too much spam. Let's first make a little playground for the Discord junkies and let's pull it away from the official channels a bit. Create a category called Wyvern Pit and choose for yourself if you want to make it public for everyone or private for young dragons, dragons and guardians or maybe just add the hatchlings as well. We will be adding channels like selfie so you might want to consider based on the privacy aspect how good you want to protect that information. And now you can add a lot of text channels of which you know your audience is going to be interested in. But let's first drag it between Dragon Den and Hatchling Burrow. Don't forget to add it if you want and add nice emojis. And I forgot the Dragon Den as well. Usually a very popular channel is selfies and of course pets. The quickest way is to just clone the channels. Food and of course sports, movies and maybe separate music as well. And usually a very popular one is off topic as well. If people want to just talk about anything but, for example, the game you're playing or something else. Now, very optionally, you can also add a not safe for work channel. And a lot of Discords have this. And some Discords regret this in the end. Make sure you go to edit channel, press not safe for work, and preferably add a slow mode as well. Maybe even a warning, something like this. Now, when you would try to enter the channel, you instantly get a warning. Are you sure you want to go here? Now, every time a user opens this channel, the user will get sufficient warnings to back down before his boss walks in. People who are not interested in this channel or even this category can just simply mute category until I turn it back on. This way they get no notifications when any message is shown there. If people really want privacy, they can right click on the server icon, go to notification settings and suppress everyone and suppress all role mentions. Now let's look at the hatchling burrow category. And it's slightly annoying that when people join the message pops up in the public hatchling chat. So let's clone the hatchling public. Just keep the same name as well, because we're going to rename the first one. And we edit a channel and we call it welcome. Don't forget to save the changes, go to permissions and for everyone disable send messages. You could also decide to link it only to guardians so only they can see it. Now hatching public is nice and clean and in welcome we're just gonna delete everything except of course the welcome messages. This will keep it nice and clean. Of course you can still talk there because you're admin. Now, if you go to server settings, you can instantly see something in the middle system messages channel, and it's set now to welcome. And that is fine. These are the messages when someone joins the server and boosts the server. If you become really, really large, you might want to put default notification settings to only mentions. This is the push messages you get, for example, to your phone or just every time you hear the bleep sound when somebody sends a message. Now let's clone Hatchling Public again and let's call it Applications. Maybe give it a topic, apply to be a dragon and a slow mode of one minute. Now under Dragon Den, we're quickly going to clone three times and we add the channel's questions, suggestions and guides. Make sure while doing this don't clone the Rallys channel as that channel hasn't allow everyone setting enabled for dragons. And for guides, you could potentially put it on read only, just like the announcement channel. If you want only council to post guides. Now, after that, depending if you play certain games, you might want to add some voice channels. For example, Team Red and Team Blue. And when you go to their settings by using add a channel, you can actually set a user limit and a very decent user amount for many games is five users. This will put a very nice looking limit cap on the voice channel and only five people can join there. Of course, you also want to have a team lobby then. And let's give it 12 users so it can hold the entire team and maybe some advisors as well. 
Alternatively, if you are a streamer, there's often a live studio with a maximum of two. And those are heavily guarded. All permissions are off, even for console. Only the admin or the streamer can actually drag people in there. Often there's a live studio lobby and moderators can prep potential people who will be invited by the live streamer to join their session. This way they can check if their microphone works and if they don't sound obnoxious or whatsoever. After that, the moderator can signal the streamer that the guest is ready to join. Now the person in the lobby cannot see the live studio as he is only a dragon and doesn't even know that the streamer is streaming. However, the streamer can always drag the person from the lobby into his live studio. And for the dragon, suddenly he finds himself in a hidden room. You can find many applications for this. And when he leaves again, the room disappears. Now you could do the same with applications. You make an application room one, you go to settings, you edit a channel, you go to permissions and you disallow anyone to join except for guardian dragons they can join and actually drag people in and you will also activate the move members now you could do the same for applications but that would be a little bit different for example dragon Morbach likes to join and as long as he doesn't join a voice channel and he actually can only join public voice but if he is not in there there's only one way to actually allow him to see the application room you go to edit channel you can actually add a member directly to the role so you can choose dragon Morbach. he can view the channel and members are always shown under the everyone and save changes now dragon Morbach can see the application room and actually join and limiting voice channels is always a good moderation tactic